What's up, YouTube? This is Devin Slate One Two Three, bringing you Deck of the Month for July. And Deck of the Month July is my Fairy build. Since the new structure deck came out, fairies became, uh, in my opinion, pretty good. Honestly, uh, this is the Sanctuary and the Sky build. So I'll go ahead and get started. Starting off, we got Boss Monster, Triple Master Hyperion. It's good because you can bring it out with Valhalla, or you can remove from play a Agent type monster and special summon it and then it's got a dark arm effect where you can remove a light fairy or yeah I think it's light fairy yeah one light fairy uh, from your graveyard and destroy one card if you have sanctuary in the sky on the field you can use it twice per turn so it's really good and it's pretty spammable triple master Hyperion next up we got double archlord Christia Christia is Christia what can I say your special summons don't mean diddly shit <laughs> Plus, it's pretty good. Honestly, <laughs> it's really good. One, the Splendid Venus. Uh, card's pretty good. Uh, spells and traps can't be ne negated. So that's pretty good. And your opponent's monsters lose 800 attack. Uh, next up, draw power. We got double Tethys, Goddess of Light. Reveal a... When you draw a card and it's a fairy type, you can reveal it to draw another card. So you can spam a hand really easily. To a her, she's really good. I like her. Next up, we got two the Agent of Miracles Jupiter. Really good. Once per turn, you can move and play one Agent Monster in your graveyard to select one face up light monster, fairy type monster you control. The selected monster gains 800 attack until the end phase, while the Sanctuary in the Sky is face up on the field once per turn. You can discard one fairy type monster to select one of your remove from play light fairy monsters and special summon it. So it's, it's a good engine for special summoning from remove from play. He's a Bromie. Honorary Bromie. The Agent of Miracles Jupiter. You heard it here. Alright, next up we got double dual terminal Galen Duos. Thumbs up for that, guys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up! Uh, Galen Duos is good. It can't be destroyed by battle. And uh, if you have Sanctuary in the Sky on the field, it can't be destroyed at all. When you take damage, though, this card automatically destroys. I mean, it's like a Doom Caliber effect if you take damage anyway, but, you know. Hopefully with Sanctuary out in the Sky out on the field, you know. You won't be taking any damage because you're playing all fairies. And you can tribute for uh, a fairy type monster. It counts as two tributes. So, yeah. Double Galen Duo. Alright, Heart and Soul of the deck. We have Triple Hecatrice. Boom. It searches out um, Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. And yeah, so you get your special summons on. One Honest because he's a fairy and, you know, he wins games. And last for the monsters, your two tuners, uh, the Agent of Earth, Mystery Earth. He's your Stratos effect. He gain, he grabs an Agent monster from your deck, or if you have Sanctuary on the Sky out on the field, you carry it. Yeah, he grabs uh, Master Hyperion. Say that five times fast. And he's level two tuner, one thousand attack. So he's pretty good. All right, that does it for the monsters, guys. Spells we have one, two, three. Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. Special summon a Fairy type monster from your hand. So, yeah, get your big fairies out fast. Next up, two terraforming. Searches out the Sanctuary in the Sky. Hollow versions, though. Battle damage to the controller of, all of a fairy-type monster uh, from battle involving that fairy-type monster becomes zero. So, yeah, it's just, just a good way to not take damage. Two mystical space typhoons. Uh, draw power, we got card from the sky, remove from play one fairy type monster from your hand, draw two cards, but you can't special summon, uh, or conduct a battle phase, the turn is activated, so it's alright, I mean, you know, it can, you can use it to your advantage. Giant True Nade, especially have you, if you have a field set up already. Anyway, moving on, Giant True Nade, it's that winning, game winning card, winning game card, it's Dark Hole, it's that winning game card, again, Monster Reborn, it's that game winning card, there, I said it right that time. Alright, traps, we have Double Solemn Warning. Yeah, what can you say? Solemn Judgment. Uh, since I'm running Sanctuary in the Sky, I'm running Divine Punishment because, you know, it negates everything. Uh, monster effects, spell effects, and trap effects. So, yeah, two of those. Two Miraculous Descents. Uh, special Summon 1, Remove from Play, Fairy-type monster from your Remove from Play pile. Obviously, duh, winning! Anyway, and last, we got Mirror Force. So that does it for the deck. It's 40 cards. Um, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. It would be very appreciated. Um, 
extra deck, you know, make it to your, make it to you how you play your play style. Uh, I would like to add a note though. Try running uh, Ancient Sacred Wyvern because you know it's that game winning card. <laughs> Fables don't also aren't the only one that play it. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed Deck of the Month July, which is uh, Sanctuary Fairies. Peace.